So it's no secret that on this channel, one of my favorite inks to use, or at least an ink substitute, is food coloring. Food coloring is surprisingly good as an ink, and as I've used them for over a year, I can attest that using food coloring is just a great alternative. They produce really nice colors, they uh, flow really well, they don't hurt your fountain pen, they don't corrode the pen, they don't hurt the feed, and to top it all off, 50 mils of food coloring only costs you about $2.80 and for context, a similar sized bottle of Parker Quink will cost you about $10, depending where you get it from. So with that in mind, I've also wanted to do a whole bunch of food coloring mixing because while you can get food coloring, you can only get them in four colors from the store. That's green, blue, red and yellow. And to be honest, I don't really use the yellow all that much. The good thing is, because this is food colouring, it is designed to be mixed. All of the major manufacturers always have a chart on the back of the box telling you how to mix them and in what ratios to produce other colours. And that's what I've gone ahead and done, because using these four colours you can create orange, purple, dark green, lime green, flesh, aqua and brown. And I promise you, not all of those colours worked. So let's get into the video, see how the colours turned out. So the first colour that I mixed was orange, and that's just a simple combination of one part red to two parts yellow. And looking at it, it's actually a really, really nice colour. It looks to be very close to orange, but maybe on the darker red side. But looking at it, it looks really nice. It has a very, very bright, vibrant look to it, and I really do like it. It seems to shade really nicely, though it looks like the shading is a little bit dark. And if I'm honest, it looks like a bit of a knockoff of Noodler's Apache Sunset. Though when you do have a look at Apache Sunset, it's clear that Apache Sunset is more on the yellow side, whereas this orange mix is on the redder side. However, I really do like this and I might be using this in the future. The next colour that I've created is purple, and purple doesn't seem to look all that nice. What I've done here is mix three parts red and one part blue, and if I'm honest, it doesn't really look all that nice. If I'm completely honest, it looks like a really bad version of Parker Quink Black, because when I'm using it on cheap copy paper, all I see is black, and in that black I can see a little bit of washed out purple, but apart from that, it's just black. I really don't like this colour, it doesn't seem to shade all that nicely, and if I compare it to, say, Waterman's Tender Purple, which is a proper purple ink, that one is much more vibrant, and I'd much rather use that. So unfortunately, with this ink, well, this food colouring mix, it's not all that successful and I wouldn't recommend anyone make it. The next colour that I made is dark green and that's a combination of one part red, one part yellow and four parts blue. And if I'm honest, I'm not sure how I feel about this ink. Looking at it, it looks more like a black ink rather than a dark green ink. If I was to put it nicely, it's a black green ink in the same way that blue black ink is blue black ink. It's more of a black ink, but when you look at it under light, it's you can see the hue of green in it. And I gotta say, it's not an ink that I particularly like. It's not saying that, that I'm going to be using in the future, and if I use this on cheaper copy paper, it is straight up a black ink. If I'm honest, the standard green ink that you get from the food colouring is dark enough, and it looks like a knockoff of Mont Blanc Irish Green. So the next colour that I made was Lime Green, and that's a simple combination of one part green to three parts yellow. And looking at it, it's probably my favourite ink colour that I've made. It looks really nice. It's very vibrant and it shades like crazy. So if you look at the shading, there are some very, very dark spots where there's a lot of ink. However, if you move it really quickly and don't deposit much ink down, it makes a really nice light ink. I gotta say, I'm genuinely surprised at how good this colour is and I'm probably going to make a little bit more to use in the future. So the next colour that I made was Flesh. Not a serial killer, but it is probably my second favourite ink that I've made so far. It looks very nice. It's a simple combination of two parts red and five parts yellow. 
So it's going to be very, very similar in colour to the orange that we made beforehand. Though in this one, there is a little bit more yellow, so the colour is going to be more on the yellow side than the red side. And i got to say, it looks much better than the orange. It looks a lot closer to the Noodler's Apache Sunset that we were comparing it to beforehand. It looks really nice. The shading isn't as nice as it is on the orange, in my opinion, but I have to say the colour that it gives off is certainly a lot nicer. Though i got to say, Noodler's Apache Sunset, this ink here is probably the best shading ink that I have, and Noodler's Apache Sunset blows it out of the water. But I've got to say, from these food colouring mixes, they're not bad. The next colour that I mixed was brown, and I didn't have much hope for this colour, because to mix it, you need three parts red, three parts yellow, and two parts blue. And I, I really didn't have much hope for it, and I was right to think that, because the brown really didn't turn out all that nicely. It was more of an off black, and it didn't even look like a nice black at that. The only thing that I could probably compare it to is Diamine Salamander, but even then, the Diamine Salamander has a much nicer shading to it, and you can see a little bit more colour in that ink. The brown, yeah, don't even bother attempting it. It doesn't look all that nice. The final colour that I made was Aqua, and that is a simple mix of one part green and two parts blue. And I have to say, it sort of failed and didn't. So it failed completely at making Aqua. The colour that it made is very green rather than blue. It doesn't look close to Aqua. But if I'm honest, I do like the ink in general. It looks really nice. It looks more like a dark emerald colour. And I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to use this in the future. I'm going to make a little bit more. Because it just looks very, very unique. And I do like this colour. It's not an aqua, but it looks really, really nice, and it shades pretty nicely as well. And there you have it. I'm actually really surprised at how many food colouring inks mixed to make really nice colours. I was only hoping for about two or three to work, because some of the mixing ratios I could tell, like the brown, would clearly not work. But I'm actually pretty happy that I got four colours to work. Yes, two of those colours, the orange and the flesh, were pretty much the same colour, but I have to say, they look really, really nice, and um, I'm probably going to use those in the future, because I was getting a little bit bored of using blue all the time.